Ahem, today... I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. I forget how fast that goes. It was a town where all people lived very happily lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if they, the very world had come to a violent end. And in a single night, and in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Damn, I forget how loud the we is. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Roeport. Yes, this is where it begins. In the sea town of Roeport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And a thousand year door starts here. Damn, that looks like Paper Mario 64 Peach. Oof, it's been a while since I've played this game. Finally, I have a minute without Toesworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. Come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toesworth. It's so stifling. Jeez. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. I still don't know. Alright, hold on. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy. Missy. I just realized that it's... Oh, never mind. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well. Um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't budge. It won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright, what's the harm? I'll try to open it. And, oh my god! It's been a while since I've played this. Also, I have my settings on, um, widescreen. I put the aspect ratio for the actual recording on live on um widescreen, but for me it's like the usual like the usual, you know, settings. And I was messing with it because I wasn't sure how I want to play the game. Like I don't know if I wanted to be on I don't know if you guys can see. no you guys can't. I don't know if I want this to be like this, or if I also want it to be on widescreen for myself. Um, I could, so it fills the whole screen, but it just looks weird like that. So for me, I'm going to play the game on the way it's supposed to be played. So like, not widescreen, but like, you know, like the usual standard definition and whatever. But for you guys, it'll be on widescreen because I want to fill the screen as much as possible. And yes, I've beaten this game before. I love this game. Uh, let's go to sound settings. Yes, this is me stereo. Um, rumble settings. I always keep them off. I don't like having... Whoops! Pushed me by accident. And like usual, I'm going to turn off the audio for myself, for my headset, but I'm going to turn it on for the TV. I actually can't hear anything, hold on. Oh no, yeah, I can. Alright, we're going to go with File 2. And I'm going to name it what I usually name it, so Junior. Because that's what I used to go by. I still go by that, I guess. Technically, I still go by that. Saving settings, do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. I'm recording, right? Imagine I'm not.
Yeah, I am. All right. Your progress is saved. Oof, this is gonna look weird for you guys because it's technically widescreen. Like I'm playing on, I'm playing on a Wii, a GameCube disc on a Wii, and I put widescreen in the settings and progressive scan mode. But I'm stretching the the image for you guys, Melka, just because I don't want it to be like a whole like two black bars on the side of the TV. It's like very annoying having it like that. I hope I don't forget to like fix that when I record again next time. I probably will. Then again, the next two games I'm planning on recording are gonna be GameCube games, so yeah. Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. Let me just adjust myself. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Uh huh. Now let's see here. Don't mind me, also gonna drink some of my protein shake. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. I always have to drink or eat something while I'm recording, huh? In my travels, I came into a possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box that I got from an old merchant in a- Whoa! What happened? Okay, that was weird. It just, like, bugged out for me. Oh man, I hope that doesn't happen during the game. During gameplay. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the tre treasure all by myself, I can read, I promise. I thought you could help me. I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map in with this- Jesus Christ, I'm like horrible at reading, apparently. I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. It's like chocolate flavored. It's kind of weird. What do you know? It's true. There's this weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. This doesn't look like a treasure map. This just looks like a regular old map. Well, there you go. It's time to stop. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'll mess with the settings for the video quality later. I just want to start playing already. But I promise we'll like mess with them. I might have to lower the volume of the game also because it seems like it's a bit loud. I have to push it. I can't hear anything on the TV. Yeah, that's kind of loud. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. I also have a walkthrough open right here for whenever I decide to, like, hunt for stuff. Excuse me, sir? Oh, it happened again. Please, wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. I still can't hear anything. I want to be able to hear the music. I hate that I have to have this whole headset in my face just to record. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Oh man, I hope that doesn't come on in the recording. There's like a little glitching happening on the top left of the screen. Oh my god, I can't wait. It's been a while since I played this game, probably like two years now. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit of by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you'd be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, whatever, man. I've got this. I'm Mario. Alright, I stopped talking for a little bit because I wanted to see on the capture card how loud the audio is. In the background. Because I want to hear the music and stuff. Alright. Oh my god, I haven't played this game in forever. Why can't I ground pound? I could ground pound in Mario Party in Paper Mario 1. Alright, let's talk to the people. Oh, right, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit the save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Yep. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you can continue it from the last point you saved at. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to save. Save all game progress up to this point, yep. Saving, do not touch the memory card or whatever. 
Alright. The game's a little off-color, too, for me. I don't know why. Or is this is this always how the game's looked? It looks weird. What you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I'd remember a princess, probably. What do you want with this chick? Anyway, pal, owe you money, or is she your girlfriend? Damn. Oh! Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never, I don't have anything to say to you creeps, ill. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Ba 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 ha ha. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. Alright. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really? Um, huff hoof harf. Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna say that. Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever loving bones. Blimey, a fight. Corkin. Ain't nothing so fun as watching a poor bloke have it out with his missus, huh? Am I right, mate? I need the glitchiness to stop, please. Yikes, looks like trouble over there. Probably best to not get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Well, I'll do it. Like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you, hmm? Not likely. Jesus, why'd she run behind me? What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? What? Yeah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumpa bomb. Whoa, whoa! Whatever, man. I've got this on Mario. Like I said earlier, can't flee this fight. But I'll time, Mr. Man. Just find a way. Does nobody know I'm Mario? Just find a way to beat this freak out of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. You've got it. I'll just hit him with these jumps. Also, turn on gaming mode on my TV. I don't know if that does anything. Supposedly it lowers latency or whatever, so maybe less input lag, but I've never really experienced input lag with this TV. Not like the old Westinghouse TV, oh my god, that thing was horrible. I, I would have to play while recording, or not recording, but like plug in like the connections into the Elgato, and then plug it into like HDMI 2, so I would be able to play without lag. That's how much it sucked. Sweet, you know that hurt. Well, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Oh no! I'm, I'm used to the input lag, I guess. I couldn't tell when I was supposed to push A. You got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Oh, there we go. Maybe I'll try a uh, super guard. I don't remember if he has like that much HP. Oh, no, he doesn't. Never mind. You did it. You did it. Yes, and you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you'll get you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? All right. <gasps> no! It needs to stop doing that. It did the thing where like it cut out. All right, I'm not saying that again. Okay, you got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. <coughs> Punish him! I don't even know why I have the walkthrough. I know what I'm doing in this game. I mostly just have it just so I can, like, find stuff. Quick, this way. Alright. Oof. Phew, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? I'll probably use this so, like, I'll, I'll get a hint of, like, any extra stuff that... Wait, am I really that slow? Really? I swear, I feel like... No, 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 I'm not this slow. Why do I feel so slow? No, 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 hold on, hold on. I gotta check my controls real quick. Why does Mario feel like he's moving so slow? No, that's not right. Hold on, give me one second. Alright, so I plugged in a different controller and it still feels like this, so I guess we're just gonna have to play th like this for now. But huh? I'll figure it out later. I don't know. Stop! I don't think we need running that much in the beginning of the game. Where do they go, huh? You, Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? What? What are you talking about? No, oh, crud, they bolted. Yeah, I don't know, the characters seem very slow for some reason. I don't remember him being that slow in this game. 
Come on, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Whoa. My name is Goombella, I'm a student at the University of Goom, nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario, wait, you mean like, that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool, anyway, no offense, but looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere, it's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Whoa, wait, what? What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What you got over there? Or what you got there? Wait, didn't I play GameCube games already? Why does it feel weird? Oh my gosh, is... Isn't that a treasure map? You have... I mean, you have to tell me where you got it. Princess Peach? What? Great, hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, mm? Oh ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Oh my god, are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. Alright. Hmm, ah indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing! Is it? You're asking me where the princess is? Erm, um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for your ship, don't you know? I only took my offer, but for a moment. But as soon as I did, she vanished. What? You know how strong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace him, the possibility that she may never return. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I think my place. I think I. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn over, right over there, and perhaps enjoy a spot of no, and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. There you go. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP heart points running low. Just drop on in, ho ho. What the hell? Yes. Anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff I say. Huff I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did you mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? You know that lady that always gets kidnapped? Oh yeah, yeah. That, like, that princess that always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Yeah. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and wanted to find the treasure on her own? That's a possibility. Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. Start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great. We're all good, then. Let's, get, let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party. Goombella's ability is a primer. Press X to... Yeah, yeah. yeah she'll tell you stuff. This is Rogueport Plaza. It's the center of town, yeah. Crosswords where uh, yeah, there's a lot of shady people around here. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. And if you press X next to somebody where the speech bowls out, I'll tell you about them. That's Goomther the Goomba. Yes, yes. Always being mugged. <clears throat> so did you get out? Yes, I know. I know all this stuff. Even for the people that don't know, they still know. <coughs> Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. Of course, Goombella can be quite handful, uh, helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her Tettle ability. Alright. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Yep, this thing. I swear, I feel like we're moving very slowly. Or maybe it's just me. Has this game always been this slow? I swear I feel like I should be moving faster than this. Star piece, a lovely piece of star. We'll be using a lot of those later. Yeah. Wasn't there a Z button? Oh. Oh, I can sort? I forgot about that. Yeah. This is the game. Alright, I'm gonna just go ahead and... 
Turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos are heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. And then behind it, Graffiti Corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. Podley's best customer. I don't know who the fuck he's talking about, but whatever. Might as well set this up already. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Whatever, man. <gasps> Whoops. Idiot, you stepped on it. My poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? What are you talking about? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact. Oh my god, contact lens. But you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ah, my rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. Alright, whatever, man. I'm out of here. Alright. Well, item shop, I guess. Yo, what's up? You got any contact lenses? Welcome, yes. Welcome to the Toad Brothers Bazaar. Bazaar. Yeah, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait a just a moment. We don't have any contact lenses in stock right now. Oh my god, someone's cooking right now. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right now. Only one? Wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it make more sense to have a pair? Right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Alright. I don't know, man. I feel like I should be moving faster than this. Alright? Like, this just feels too slow. This is going to be a long game if it's going to be like this. Alright, whatever, man. I don't know, man. I feel like I should be moving faster than this. Oh, oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. What? That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. Hold on. No, yeah, because I think the speed at which he goes from one screen to another is the speed that we're supposed to go in. Yeah, I think this is fine. This just feels wrong. I think it's because I've been watching like Super Paper Mario videos recently that like Mario moves a lot faster in that game than he does here. So I don't know. Hey, what's up? Oops, uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine. Okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. That's right. I don't know. I'm gonna watch a video and see how fast Mario runs in it. But I already know where Frankly's is. He's just over here. 